everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I make my GFXs with Roblox Studio and Blender 2.92. This video will be the first video in my 7 week series where I teach you guys how to make GFXs, my tips and tricks, and overall YouTube help. If you guys think that sounds interesting, then keep following along as you will learn a lot of stuff in these 7 weeks. And if you want more information, please read the description box down below or find the community tab where I explain my series. And without further ado, let's get started with this video. So first of all, click on the classic base plate in your Roblox Studio. And then it should already be loaded into the place where you create your little game or that's what it seems like. So make sure you have the Toolbox, Explorer, and Properties tab open. And if you don't, I'm going to be teaching you guys how. Go to view at the top and then click on properties, click on explorer and then click on toolbox and you'll get all of those tabs right away. And if you still don't have that, comment down below and I can maybe help you. So now after you have done that, go to the toolbox and then switch the top into plugins. Click on the first one and if it doesn't show up as the first one, just search it up. Search up load character and then install it. And then after that, go to the top and click on plugins, and then you should see your load character plugin at the top. Click on that, and then a little pop-up should be coming up on the screen. And then after that, just put in your username, and I'm going to do my username, which is isomazeboba, so just type that in. And then make sure spawn at origin is checked marked, and click on spawn r6. Now use WASD to move around and to position your camera to where it feels comfortable. And yeah, so we're just going to be moving around just to see it a little bit better, but you don't have to if you're a little bit experienced. So now what I want to do is I want to change the face. To change the face is very easy, so you just change it in Roblox Studio. And click on the little arrow next to your username, go to head, click on that arrow, and then delete the face right now. After that, go to the top and then go to images and then search up the face you want to put. So I'm just going to do super super happy face and I'm just going to do this blue one that I found. It's really cute and just drag it onto your face. If it doesn't work, you can move the head out and then put it on there. But if it works like this, that's the best. So now what we want to do is right click on your avatar and then uh, click on export selection and then your avatar will be selected so this little pop-up will take a little bit longer to load if it's your if it's your um, boot starting your Roblox studio name it whatever you want and save it to whichever folder you want and just click on the save so after that um, you are done exporting your character if you don't want to remodel you can totally end here so um, yeah now what we want to do is you want to go to models and then search up whatever models you want. So I'm just going to search up a model that I want and then I'm going to um, import it into my world. Alright, so now after I have um, got my model, I'm just going to export the same way that I exported my avatar. So just right click and then click on export selection and then save it to whatever folder you want. And after that is done exporting, you can close down Roblox Studio and then we can move on to Blender. Alright, so I'm just going to move on to Blender now, and right now I am in Blender 2.9. So just find the rig file in your folder and then just click it, and it should bring you to Blender 2.9. And both Blender and the rig download will be in the description box down below. Now click on one point and then drag it to the end of the head and then just delete the head, mouth, eyes, tongue, and lips. Now click on the arm or the torso, it doesn't really matter, and then go down to there and then click on um, the editor. So now um, go to the files and then find the uh, file that you saved and it should have your username and text PNG. So now go back to 3D viewpoint, and then um, you should have your avatar loaded here. Now you can just adjust your camera angle, and to do that, it's Shift and Intel WASD. So just move that around, and then yeah. Now we are just going to put the other parts. So click on File, click on Import, click on Waveform.obj. 
now find the one that you saved and then make sure both of those are checked off then click on import and then after that you can just move it onto the side to um yeah to move the head layer so we're just going to move it onto the side and then after that we're just going to import the head onto the actual rig so to put the head on uh, just drag it and then click on command J to join the head, the bangs, the face, and other accessories. So now go down there, go to object, go to, um, and then do origin to geometry. And then now just drag it to the actual rig with the move button and then um, just adjust it to where you like it. And I just deleted the other bodies as well so yeah now just import your room on the same one that you imported your rig after i have imported my model in i'm going to now teach you guys how to move and adjust your um rig and um it's very simple so just follow along with me and I will be showing you guys how to move it and position your rig to how you like it. So your avatar or the rig has three parts on the arm, legs, um, and the torso. So I'm going to show you guys how to move it. So the first part is to like move it up and down. The second part is just to move it like when you're curving your elbow. And the third one is just to move the wrist. So if you want like a more natural look, that's what you do. So um, same for the other arm. The leg, the first one is to just move it up and down. The second one is to like bend the knee. Um, so I call that the knee. And then the third one, last but not least, is the ankle. So again, if you want a more natural look. Um, so just play around with it. And I'm just going to position my avatar and you can move it onto the model. Um, just have fun with it and experiment a little bit. I'm gonna run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now Now we are done with positioning your avatar, so just, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of it, and now it is time for the kind of most important part. Now is to, like, set up your camera angle and then render it. So to set up your camera angle, go to add, and then click on camera, and then go to view, and then camera, and then active camera. Now go to there and then put it to 1000 by 1000 pixels because it is good quality and it doesn't take that long to render. So um, after you do that, use WASD, shift and Intel again, and then put it, uh, move your camera angle to where you want your GFX. So since I want it here, I'm just going to like put it here. So um, yeah, um, that's basically it. You just set up your camera angle. Now I'm just going to finish setting this up and then we are going to um, put this in render mode to see what it looks like. Now go to the globe icon and then click on use node and then go to color and then click on environmental texture. Now click on open and then find your HDRI. Um, I use HDRI Haven and I will be linking that down below and you can find your favorite HDRI there. So I'm just going to experiment with some HDRI and see which one I like best. But right now, I think I'm going to go with the Skies on Fire, and that's the one I end up going with. Um, but the Sunflower one is good. And comment down below if you guys want me to do like a recommendation on HDRIs you can use for your GFXs. Um, I'm really happy to do that if you guys would like one. So um, now after you've done that... Um, it is time for other settings. So go to this and then change it to PNG um, and turn it to RGBA. And then after that, go to the first one and then go down to Denoise, click on Render. So this will get rid of all the greens in your GFX. And now we're basically done. So you can wait for it to load or you can just render it straight away. But you're basically done, and yeah, 
um, to render it, go to the top and click on render and then render image and your GFX will start rendering um, and it'll notify you when it's done rendering so you can see your final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the next slide will be the finished product of this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day or night. Lots of love, Grace. I keep on trying to defend Still it feels like I'll pretend Keep on driving and driving Along the road tonight As my head